Welcome back again to Phasmophobia. Just making sure everything's recording. So, no hotfix today, but the uh, Halloween event is ending tomorrow morning. Uh, Twelve hours left to the uh, challenge at the time of this recording. So maybe in 12 hours we'll get a hotfix that deactivates the Halloween event and introduces some few fixes. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do some Sunny Meadows uh, full and restricted anyway. I'll do two restricted and one on full. See how long of a video I end up with by doing that. Still going to do it on eight times. Okay, restricted. Here we go. So in my last video, I made 800 and then I lost it on a hunt. So it put me right back to where I started. It's frustrating that that cursed hunt at the end of the video ended on the little, it, I died on the very last second of the hunt. If it would have been just one or two more seconds longer. I would have gotten away. Okay, so what I learned when I started doing Sunday Meadows in the first place was that there are two ghosts that I now have to be worried about for early hunting. The demon, which can hunt at any time it wants, which is typical. But an Onrio can also hunt early. Right. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. The ghost here seems to be linked to a cursed object. Go and take a closer look. Maybe using it will help your investigation. The Onrio can blow out candles in the uh, chapel and initiate a cursed hunt for itself. So that's especially a reason to uh, go around with a smudge stick, which I've been doing anyway. Okay, so I got two objectives here that uh, require me to be at low sanity and to be in a hunt. And I don't know if I'm, how much I'm going to try that. We'll see. Depends on how I feel about things. And who knows, maybe I need a hunt in order to figure out the ghost. Since I am still playing on Nightmare with only, or I'm playing on a version of Nightmare that only allows two evidence. So, it's been a long time since I've been in Sunny Meadows with the ability to move fast and sprint and have a flashlight. Here's the fuse box. And a light switch. So what I'm going to do first is, well, I can go to the chapel to see what kind of cursed object I have. But I also want to try to find the bone and see if I can nail down the uh, ghost room. It's restricted, so it's not a full map. And these doors still get larger. And it looks like I'm just dealing with the chapel in the circle at this point. The uh, staircase is blocked off. I can't go downstairs at all. Well, maybe, maybe one of the hallways is open. Okay, no candles are burnt out. What do we got? We have a summoning circle. Okay. What the heck is this? I'm not going to touch that door again. Okay, looks like we're dealing with this hallway. These doors, oh, they do enlarge. Oh my God, they all do. And this, oh, the uh, 
the left and right eye on uh, the VR is showing something different for the lighting pattern on that uh, bed. It's really disorienting. So those metal door, these metal doors enlarge too, so I have to be careful. Is this a hiding spot? I would say it is. So the third door I could hide in. Can't even go in there. Oh, that's a staircase, that's why. I'm so used to being hunted. This is another one, this, these lights. I'm gonna have to report this as a bug. This, uh, this sheet doesn't even show up in the right eye in the VR. That is really disorienting. Didn't throw this, did it? I'll just have to come back down with a thermometer to confirm. Okay, so I made my circle around here. Now I need to go around the uh, chapel circle. See if I can find anything there. I would like to come back and do a 24x that requires me to go down a hallway like this, but uh, I'm not... Oh, so am I limited to that hallway then? So the ghost is just in one of these rooms and that's it? And that's blocked off too. Well, all right then. Well, I didn't find the bone anywhere. there for now. And that door is just wrong. Let's see if I can put this back. There. Okay, so I'm clueless where the ghost is at this point. My sanity is already down to 70. Huh. Okay. See how quickly I can find the room without dallying too much. Turned off the fuse box. Where are you? How old are you? It's pretty cold in here. At least it was. How old are you? What do you want? Where are you? How old are you? Can you leave there?
No evidence yet. Can I take one of these books? No, I can't. Okay, doors were closing, but I'm not missing much sanity, so I'm guessing that's not a URA. Let's take a crucifix and a dots and a camera. I don't think I need a crucifix just yet. Let's go with a uh, ghost writing book just so that it's in the room and I can collect it. If it hit the fuse box, that means it, well, could be a Hantu. No, Hantu requires freezing temps, so I don't think that's it. Still pretty cold in here. I'd say that's a definite possibility. see any orbs anywhere. <clears throat> so where's the bone? I want the bone. If I end up having some excess uh, sanity to work with, maybe I'll consider looking for it. <laughs> so, you want to give me some evidence? Something? Anything? No signs of EMF 5 yet? I could take another smudge in just to increase its activity. What else do I need? Blow out a candle, huh? Not a wraith. And if sounds are any indication, it's wearing clod hoppers. Gave off another EMF. Could it be an EMF 5? Nope. Okay, let's see. Candle.
Yeah, I don't have my um, camera with me. So sadly, I'm going to miss out on those pictures. Hi. No ghost riding either? You're not giving me anything, are you? That was a uh, visible ghost event. Well, it's really eating my sanity fast. Um, it's not giving me any evidence at all, so I don't know what to make of this. It's not freezing temps. I could go back in and try spirit box again. Could be fingerprints. I could always stand in the room with a lit candle to preserve my sanity. I dropped a lighter in the room, so that'll be there. There we go, EMF 5. You want to give me anything else? Did I at least get the can- uh... Yeah, I got the candle objective, good. Now I could hide in the office for the 25% sanity objective, if I wanted to. And I could use the uh, summoning circle to drop my sanity. Let's see here. So if we're- got an EMF 5. And I'm suspecting that fingerprints is the other evidence. If we don't get dots, it's not a Gorio. can't be a yokai, so why don't I go in and use the spirit box again. At worst case, it's a raiju, which can hunt early. But I have a buffer, so let's quickly do that. What kind of photos did I get, by the way? Footstep, footstep, interaction, summoning circle, footstep, interaction, interaction, interaction. Didn't get any fingerprints, but it might not have left any either. Okay, so I'll go back in quickly and try to get Spirit Box one last time, and then I'll duck out quickly. I 
it's certainly not a wraith. This will prevent it from hunting for 90 seconds. How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? Turned that upside down, didn't notice that. Oh, I saw dots. I saw dots, so that means it's not, it's not a Gorio. It's always good to get two evidences. So let's find out what we're possibly dealing with here. Not a wraith. Not a Gorio. Not again. Um, okay, Onis appear, uh, prefer to appear in full form. And when it showed itself to me, it was translucent, so i got to be dealing with another Raiju. <sighs> no, I keep dying to Raijus. Am I good with what I have? I don't need this anymore. Okay, if I... Huh, <laughs> I could hide in the office. How much do I care about this? Uh, do I want to risk it? I haven't found the bone yet either. If I find the bone, that's $80. I'm going to take one last look around for the bone. If it is a Raiju, it could hunt right now if it wants. I'm pretty sure it's a Raiju. I'm going to take that as the educated guess. So what I'm going to do now is just see if I can quickly find the bone by running around. Go. And then I'll let the uh, summary tell me where the bone was if I failed to find it. This is my typical favorite hiding spot in the 24X. You served me well. If I really want to be ambitious, I could go for both the 25% and the bone.
pretty sure it wasn't in there. I was in there multiple times and didn't see it. There it is. That was hard to find. Okay, next strategy. Run past the ghost room and smudge the damn thing. This gives me this gives me ninety seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, ooh, 34. Bye. Was it in the lobby? Or did it, or no, it hit the fuse box again. Okay. All right, so I got that objective. I got the bone. I'm going to say that it is a Raiju because it can't be a Wraith. It had footprints. can't be a Goryeo because it had dots. Or I, I could see the dots with my naked eye. can't be an Oni because it was translucent when it appeared to me. And Raiju is the only ones left. Pro move with a smudge. Here we go. I prepared some jobs for you. I'm not in wasn't interested in challenging the Raiju on a hunt. I could have timed it and uh, stepped out when the hunt ended. All, I mean, all the, all the ghost has to do is see you, and then you survive the hunt and you get the other objective. But I'm fine with this. Uh, it would have been 500, 512 otherwise. I will live with living. Okay, so I'm glad I found the bone. That one was tricky to find. Okay, we're going to do another Sunny Meadows Restricted. See what map we get again this time. Restricted, ready up. Same pattern. Go around with a smudge in case I get a demon or an Onryo or a mimic imitating either. And hope that I don't have to open doors too much because of the bug. So I'm going to lean. I'm going to lean in close. You see the pixels here? How they're all perfectly stationary. I'm going to switch modes. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not doing anything right now. So let me come back to it. There. Now it's. Now they're animated. They're flickering. I wouldn't call it a bug. It's just. It's initializing the images, and it's not uh, doing any anything with them until it thinks it really has to. Okay, only three cameras are available. I'm going to go around with a smudge again. It would help if I have a flashlight. 
And if I wanted to light that fifth candle, it would have initiated a hunt, but not against a Raiju. No, thank you. One other quick check. I want to find out where the fuse box is so I don't get too lost. Oh, it's in the lobby. Perfect. Ready? Go. It's a little hard to reach in VR. Okay, so quickly trying to find the ghost room, the bone, figure out what cursed object we're dealing with, figure out what map we're dealing with. Must move fast. Looks like we got a downstairs level. Let's go into the uh, chapel and see what we're dealing with. For the cursed object, door's already open. That's nice, but I'm going to open you even more. Whatever. Music box. I'm going to take you and put you in the lobby. I can use you for a ghost photo. Like a good hiding spot for a hunt. Which way do I go? That way, huh? And this room's open too. It's like I'm learning this place all over again because. In a 24X, I just spend all my time in the dark with a candle. Ah, uh, yes. The isolation rooms. Does this room door get bigger? Yes, it does. I totally missed the bone. Could be in one of these end rooms. Oh, there is no end room. Okay, so I'm confused. I'm going to assume that the room with the light on is the ghost room. Um, this was not a squishy room before. What the heck? Well, I found the bone. Jeez. I didn't know that room turned into a squishy room. Look at that. Just that one loop around the place. 
so I gotta work quickly. Pretty sure freezing temps is not going to be a thing. I didn't see my breath at all, but we'll try these things anyway. How old are you? Now I have to do the Moroi test. At least I know these lights don't protect you from sanity drain nearly as much as in other maps. So you're not really all that safe just hanging around in a lit room in the in sunny meadows. Okay, so eighty four, eighty seven. My frame rate's suffering a bit. I got my gold right there when a demon ended its hunt in my face. See what we're dealing with. I would say it is not a Moroi, or at least on that first attempt to talk to me, it did not curse me at least. Let's see. Could be a yokai though, so I'm done talking. I will be quiet while I'm in there.
I don't even know what the objectives are. Okay, that's good for taking a sanity vial. Ghost event, repel, cleanse with a smudge. That I can do. Let's see. I'll do the smudging later. Right now, I want UV light. And I guess we can... Uh... Oh, we got an orb. Didn't see that before. If I get a third piece of evidence, I know it's a mimic. I didn't get freezing temps, but I could get fingerprints. Fingerprints would be the only other possible evidence if it's a mimic, because I did not get freezing temps. Why don't I uh, get myself some bonus photos, too? I hope it's not a mimic. I don't like mimics. Yuck. The floating footprint. That's done. I don't need that anymore. Okay, I touched the door a few times. I didn't see a fingerprint once. So it could be a yokai or an onryo. A mare. Cannot be a mare because I found a light that was turned on, so that's impossible. It's either a yokai or an onryo. Great. Uh, let me think. Morai and Diogen require a spirit box. Oh my god. I don't need this anymore. I can light all the candles and just run for it. Or I can just see if a crucifix could eat me.
And you have a smudge right at the doorway. Let's see. I think I'll be able to hear this door close if it hunts. Just give it a few minutes. Didn't I turn this light on? I did. Now, if I go back downstairs and all four of the candles are blown out and a crucifix is eaten, that would tell me that it's definitely an unreal because it tried to hunt. I'll give it one more minute, and then I'll go out to the truck and uh, take a sanity to go back down to investigate. I want to be inside so that if it hunts, I'll know it. That should be enough. like the candles are still there. That tells me that it is not an Onryo. Unless most of them are out. Now the other the other real test would be ew, 54%. The other real test would be for me to stand in the room and yell and see if a uh, crucifix gets eaten, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so I'm at 75. If I talk, it could hunt. So I'm going to be quiet.
it blew out all four candles, what does that mean? I'm just going back out to the truck to get another dose of sanity before I go back in. Because it did hit me. Last one. I do, it dropped everything. I dropped my flashlight, I dropped my lighter. Just fumbled it all. Interaction, footstep, footstep. I should have taken two pictures of the door. Oh. Well, I thought... Hmm. Okay, fine. I was hoping to maybe catch some fingerprints there if I took another picture. Okay, I'm going to take the regular flashlight down now since I dropped the other one. And one last look. If it blew out all four candles again, I'm just going to call it an Anria. Could still be a mimic, but if it is a mimic, it's acting an awful lot like an unreal, blowing out all those candles. But what I am surprised at is that it didn't start a hunt. It blew out all four candles twice in a period of uh, a couple minutes, so I'm just going to say unreal. And if a mimic fooled me, so be it. It was a yokai. Huh. All right. So apparently if you group four uh, candles together, probably what should have 
Okay, what should have cued me off is that it either didn't try to hunt and it didn't try to eat from the crucifixes. So that should have told me that it was a yokai. I will know that now and I will remember that in the future. I only suspected it was an Onryo because it blew out all four candles both times in a fairly short period of time. Noted. Okay, last one. This time we're doing Sunday Metals full. And it's just a matter of how quickly I find the ghost room at this point. If I get the uh, cursed mirror, that would quickly tell me where the ghost room is, or at least make me a clue. I didn't know that that padded room became squishy. I was curious why I hadn't found the room. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've got nothing else to report, unfortunately. Okay, fuse box is in the lobby. I have three easy objectives. Well, the parabolic might be hard. Sometimes the ghost is very stubborn. Same deal, though. Strong flashlight. And a smudge. It's going to take a while to find the bone because i got to look through every single room. I probably have barely enough time to make my rounds before I have to leave quickly. Small maps drain your sanity faster than large ones. A lot faster. Theoretically, could be in this hallway. I don't see it. Ouija board. You could tell me where the bone is. Any candles blown out? Nope. Not yet. I'll wait to go downstairs. I'll go around the circle first. If I can get all the objectives, I'll make like 800 bucks. stopping the bone from being out here. I don't know if this counts as being outside. I don't know if I'm getting drained sanity by being out here. I assume it counts as a room in the building. I 
Tell you what, I'll go down both long hallways and save the downstairs for after taking another sanity. Not much to hide in there, is there? Or not much opportunity to hide. Not much opportunity to hide in here either. Okay, this kitchen has been many a time where a ghost is inside there and I just did not want to go inside. And I, there was a shade in here once that came out and got me. But I could have smudged it from the outside and then approached and set up some things in the room for testing. But imagine being in a 24X knowing this kitchen is the ghost room and you're just hiding behind this counter or something just to spend time here. Freaky. Oh, boiler room. I've never been here. So with a lighter, I think I could light those. Another room over there. It's not a bone, is it? No. Nope. Just a cutting board. Oh, another boiler room. Okay. I haven't heard any sounds. Washroom. That's soap, that's not a bone. I'm not gonna waste energy from the fuse box turning on lights for rooms that I don't need. I usually turn them on in the hallways, but not in the rooms. The Ouija board, by the way, isn't going to tell me where the favorite ghost room is. It's only going to tell me where the uh, ghost's current location is. I'm going to take a quick, uh, and this is where I hid when I got Mimic Wraith teleported and killed during my 24X. Um, I'm going to take a quick trip out to the truck and check my sanity. bandwidth to go down at least one long hallway, so I'll do that quickly. Another bug. This sheet does not show up in the right my right eye in VR. I'm gonna take it quiet now because I could be dealing with a yokai.
my sanity gets down to 75% and it's a Thay, it's going to be at full speed. I'm going to risk going down this hallway. If I make one false move, I could surely die. Seems to me both the ghost and the bone are downstairs. I should be able to make my rounds downstairs very quickly. How are we looking? 67? 93. That's enough to um, quickly look around downstairs. By the way, the frame rate is really suffering in the truck. They probably still need to do some optimizing. I know that they have an optimization uh, update coming in a few months. Just making sure there's no bone. Okay, let's go downstairs. This will be my hiding spot. See any open doors? The bone could still be in here, but I don't think the ghost is.
That's always fun. Okay, no sign of the bone down this way, and no ghost sounds. So I'm going to try down the other long hallway, and if I don't have any luck there, then I'm not sure what I'll do next. I figured I would at least have found the bone, but I'm going to keep trying. This is already on. Oh wait, I turned this on. Never mind. That's all the rooms. There we go. That's what I wanted. Jesus! <sighs> no! I gotta go around the long way. Damn it. That door's disabled for me now. That sucks. I accidentally let go of it. That was my mistake. So, I will take the staircase. Fortunately, there are multiple ways up. Okay, I'm not sure exactly which room it's in, but I can always nail it down with a thermometer. I don't remember seeing freezing breath. What in the world? Oh, come on! Are you serious? Okay, I can glitch it, so I'm going to cheat and back up. I'm going to walk forward. And get past it. <sighs> That's painful. So the door from downstairs got so huge that it clipped into the floor up above. I never found the bone. And the frame rate out here is atrocious. Okay, I got enough bandwidth. Just checking my sanity. I'm going to need to glitch through the door again, so I'm physically backing up in my space. 
and then I will walk through the store. Thank you. I'm never going to open that door down there again. At least not in this mission. Getting all turned around in my physical space. How old are you? Where are you? weird. Okay, you know what that tells me? It tells me it's a wraith. Because none of these rooms are warm. The hallway isn't warm. Could be a banshee. How old are you? How old are you? What do you want? this door is. Whoa. Come on, don't clip me into the wall. Now you're just being an a-hole. And where's the door clipping through the... Oh, it's not clipping through this. Huh. I would have thought the door would have been clipping through this one. Through the uh, floor back there, but apparently not. Um, so let me think. If it's not freezing temps... Okay, I gotta do this trick again. Could be a banshee or a phantom too, I'm not sure. Uh or I'd, I mean what was odd is that all of the surrounding rooms were warm. Nothing was cold. That's what makes me suspect. Got the EMF reader, need to blow out a candle. I'm gonna hold off on the candle. Um, book. Uh, 
I'm gonna risk going down there without a sanity pill, see how quickly I can do it. Time to do the clippy do again. That is so stupid. By the way, since that door is so closed and I can't get through it on this side, the least I could do... Is it here? Nope, I must have dropped them inside the, um, my other lighter and smudge. So I really have no idea which room is the ghost room. I didn't see a ghost orb, so it's not a mimic. I was told that the dots has a pretty wide range. So maybe I should actually put that in one of the other rooms. Sixty-nine percent. That's worth taking another sanity pill. I'll take another smudge down. I think I'll move the. Uh, I think I'll move the video camera and the dots down to a more central room.
Oops. Theoretically, I could use a parabolic mic and just point it down to the lower rooms from this floor and get my paramic evidence. Maybe I'll try that just as an experiment. All right, I keep forgetting about this door. Can't do that with a closed door. Fortunately, it worked when the door's poking through the hole. I haven't even gotten any evidence yet. So, what's next? I didn't find the bone anywhere either, that's a bummer. You can always ask the Ouija board where it is.
no idea. It's not giving me any evidence. Also, with the doors enlarging, I don't know if that means that the fingerprints will be embedded inside and I can't see them. By the way, Ouija board interaction, interaction, no fingerprints. Uh oh, is it stick? Is it uh, locking me inside now? No, good. Where is the bone? Goodbye. So at the very least, I can get the bone in the kitchen and get 240 bucks. And get a picture of it. Um, and I'll take the paramic. Kitchen, huh? Oh, there it is. I walked right over it. Two hundred and forty dollars, I'll take it. Getting all turned around here. Oops. 
I'm going to assume that it is one of the ghosts that stalks you. Fingerprints, ghost orb, dots, for a banshee. Fingerprints, dots, spirit box for a phantom. <laughs> Let's see. I think when it first appeared to me, it was a shadow. I never got a chance to take a picture of it. Was it singing? I don't remember if it was singing. I certainly don't see dots happening. But it did certainly feel like the ghost was following me. So, Phantom or Banshee? It's one of the two. I'm going to guess Phantom. And if I'm wrong, I'll live with it. Could have been a Gorio too, who, who the heck knows? It was really odd that all of those rooms were warm, none of them were cold. Welcome Panchy, back. damn it! So close. I missed out on four hundred dollars because of that. But I got five forty for it. And it didn't do the shriek in the paramic. That would have also been its hell, but I know that that's not a common evidence. Shame. I mean, chances are Spirit Box will... Just to quickly review, Banshee's evidence are fingerprints, ghost orb, and dots. I didn't see a ghost orb anywhere. So the two evidences were probably going to be fingerprints and dots, and I still would have had to choose between a phantom or a Banshee. The other possibility would have been to get the ghost to appear and get a picture of it, but my sanity was low and I didn't want to risk sticking around much longer. I will live with that, and I'm at 15.6. I'd be at 16,000, but life goes on. Lesson learned. All right. Well, I know this was a long video. I hope it was worth watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with me, and I will see you in the next video. By the way, I hope that they fix the bugs in those doors, because that was quite painful. But I would like to do Sunny Meadows again, and I'll probably do it again tomorrow. See you then.